Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to dive into an important public health issue, chronic kidney disease or CKD. This disease is more common than you might think, affecting millions of people worldwide. It's a condition that's often overlooked, but its impact on public health is significant. Chronic kidney disease is a progressive condition where the kidneys slowly lose their ability to filter waste and excess fluids from the blood. If left unchecked, it can lead to serious health complications. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such informative videos. Stay healthy, stay informed. Sharing it with your friends, family, or anyone who might benefit from it can make a big difference. Your engagement helps us reach more people and spread awareness about these significant health issues. One of the key aspects we'll uncover today is the intricate link between CKD and metabolic disorders, particularly type 2 diabetes. This relationship, underscores the importance of understanding and managing CKD in our fight against widespread health issues. So, let's get started with understanding what chronic kidney disease really is. Chronic kidney disease, as the name suggests, is a long-term condition that affects the functioning of your kidneys. But what exactly does that mean? To understand we first need to know a bit about our kidneys and their role in our bodies. Our kidneys are two bean-shaped organs about the size of your fists, located just below your rib cage on either side of your spine. They are vital organs that perform several functions, the most important of which is filtering out waste products and excess fluid from our blood, which are then excreted through urine. Our kidneys also help regulate our blood pressure, maintain the balance of electrolytes, and produce certain hormones that help produce red blood cells, promote bone health, and regulate blood pressure. In chronic kidney disease, this filtering system breaks down over time. Unlike acute kidney injury, which happens suddenly, often as a result of injury or poisoning, CKD is a progressive disease. This means it develops slowly, often over many years, and can lead to kidney failure if not detected and treated early. In the early stages, you might not notice any symptoms because our kidneys are remarkably adaptable and can continue working even when they're not in perfect shape. However, as CKD progresses, the kidney's ability to perform their critical functions decreases, leading to a buildup of waste products and other complications. The severity of CKD is categorized into five stages with stage 1 being the mildest and stage 5 or end-stage renal disease being the most severe, where the kidneys have lost almost all their function. Chronic kidney disease is a silent killer because it often goes unnoticed until the damage is severe. Early detection and treatment can slow down the progression of the disease, prevent complications, and improve the quality of life for those living with CKD. Now that we know what CKD is, let's explore what causes it. Several factors can contribute to the development of CKD, with some being more common than others. When we talk about chronic kidney disease, two major culprits are often at the forefront, diabetes and hypertension. Diabetes, especially type 2, can cause damage to the small blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste from the blood. High blood pressure or hypertension also puts extra strain on the kidneys, which over time can lead to damage and decreased function. But these are not the only causes. Certain conditions can directly injure the kidneys such as glomerulonephritis, an inflammation of the kidney's filtering units, and polycystic kidney disease, a genetic disorder causing numerous cysts to grow in the kidneys. Now let's dive into the risk factors. Age is a significant one. As we get older our kidney function naturally starts to decline, and the risk of CKD increases. Certain ethnic groups like African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asians, and Pacific Islanders have a higher risk of developing CKD often due to higher rates of diabetes and hypertension in these populations. Family history is another important factor. If you have a close relative with kidney disease, your risk is higher. Obesity plays a role too. Excess weight, especially around the waist, is linked with diabetes, hypertension, and hence, CKD. Lifestyle factors cannot be ignored. Smoking for instance can damage blood vessels, reducing blood flow to the kidneys and impairing their function. Regular use of certain medications like over-the-counter painkillers can also harm the kidneys when used long-term or in high doses. Lastly, let's not forget about other health conditions that can impact your kidneys. People with heart disease, high cholesterol, or a history of acute kidney injury are at an increased risk of CKD. So, as you can see, various factors can contribute to the development of chronic kidney disease. Some we can control like maintaining a healthy weight and not smoking, while others like age and family history, we cannot. Knowing these risk factors is only half the battle, understanding how CKD progresses is equally important. CKD progression involves a complex interplay of various factors and mechanisms. To understand this process we need to delve into the microscopic world of our kidneys. Picture this. Within each kidney, 
there are millions of tiny filtration units known as nephrons. These nephrons are crucial for maintaining our body's balance of water and various essential minerals. But, in chronic kidney disease, these nephrons start to falter. Now let's zoom in further. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus, a tiny blood vessel cluster. This is where the magic, or rather, the science happens. The glomerulus filters your blood, with waste and excess fluid forming urine, while important substances like proteins and red blood cells remain in the bloodstream. In CKD, damage to the glomerulus means this filtration process is compromised. Proteins that should stay in the blood leak into the urine, and waste products build up in the blood. As damage to the nephrons continues, the remaining healthy nephrons are forced to work harder, leading to further damage in a vicious cycle of kidney deterioration. This progressive loss of kidney function is reflected in the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. The GFR measures how well your kidneys are filtering wastes from your blood. When the GFR decreases, it's a clear sign that kidney function is declining. The progression of chronic kidney disease is divided into five stages based on the GFR. Stage 1 represents the mildest form with normal or high GFR, and stages 2 to 4 represent progressively lower GFR. Finally, in stage 5, also known as end-stage kidney disease, the GFR drops to a critically low level, and the kidneys are no longer able to function adequately. By understanding this intricate dance of cellular processes, we can better appreciate the importance of early detection in CKD. After all, the earlier the disease is spotted, the more we can do to slow down its progression. Identifying CKD early and managing it effectively can drastically slow down its progression. Managing CKD involves a combination of lifestyle changes and medical interventions. This isn't just about managing the disease itself, but also about mitigating the risk factors that contribute to kidney damage. Let's start with lifestyle changes. A healthy diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, low in salt and processed foods, can help control blood pressure and blood sugar levels, reducing the strain on your kidneys. Regular exercise, be it walking, swimming, or biking, can help maintain a healthy weight and lower blood pressure, thus reducing the risk of further kidney damage. Smoking cessation is another crucial step as smoking can accelerate kidney damage. Now let's talk about medications. A variety of drugs are used to manage the symptoms of CKD and slow the progression of the disease. These may include angiotensin-converting enzyme AC inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor blockers ARBs, to control high blood pressure, diuretics to remove excess fluid from the body, and medications to control high cholesterol levels. It's important to remember that these medications should be taken strictly under your doctor's supervision. Regular monitoring is a key part of managing CKD. Kidney function tests, blood pressure checks, and regular assessments of your blood glucose and cholesterol levels can help keep track of your kidney health and adjust your treatment plan accordingly. In some cases when kidney function has declined significantly, dialysis or a kidney transplant might be needed. Dialysis is a process that artificially removes waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys can no longer do so. A kidney transplant, on the other hand, involves replacing the diseased kidney with a healthy one from a donor. However, CKD can also lead to a host of complications if not managed well. So, it's not just about managing the disease but also about adopting a holistic approach to your overall health. This includes taking care of your mental health, staying informed about your condition, and maintaining regular contact with your healthcare team. Remember, you are not alone in this journey, and there are many resources and support systems available to help you navigate through this. CKD can lead to a range of complications that can severely affect a person's quality of life. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is much more than just a kidney disorder. It's a condition that can have far-reaching effects on your body, leading to a variety of complications both in the short term and the long term. In the short term, CKD can lead to anemia, a condition where your body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues. This can leave you feeling tired and weak, and can even affect your ability to think clearly. CKD can also lead to electrolyte imbalances, as your kidneys are responsible for maintaining the right balance of minerals in your body. This can lead to issues like irregular heart rhythms and muscle weakness. Over time, the complications of CKD can become even more serious. One of the most significant long-term complications is cardiovascular disease. When your kidneys aren't functioning properly, it can lead to high blood pressure and the buildup of fats and cholesterol in your blood vessels, increasing your risk of heart disease and stroke. Bone disorders are another long-term complication of CKD. 
Your kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining the health of your bones by balancing calcium and phosphate levels in your body. When these levels are out of balance it can lead to weakened bones and an increased risk of fractures. And let's not forget about the impact of CKD on your overall quality of life. The fatigue, the constant need for medical care, the dietary restrictions, all of these can take a toll on your mental and emotional well-being. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding these complications and how they affect your body is the first step towards managing them. With the right treatment and lifestyle changes, it's possible to slow the progression of CKD and maintain a good quality of life. One key aspect of CKD is its profound link with metabolic disorders, particularly type 2 diabetes. But more on that in the next scene. Stay tuned! The relationship between chronic kidney disease and metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes is significant. Metabolic disorders are conditions that disrupt the body's normal metabolic function. When we talk about metabolic disorders we typically think about conditions like diabetes, obesity and metabolic syndrome, which includes a cluster of conditions like increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol levels. So, how are these conditions linked to chronic kidney disease or CKD? Well, the kidneys are vital organs that play an essential role in maintaining the body's metabolic balance. They filter out waste products, control the body's fluid balance, and regulate electrolytes. When the kidneys are damaged or diseased, as in the case of CKD, they can't perform these functions efficiently, which can lead to metabolic imbalances. Type 2 diabetes, for instance, is a major risk factor for CKD. High blood sugar levels over time can damage the kidney's blood vessels, impairing their ability to filter waste products. What's more, the presence of CKD can make diabetes management more challenging, creating a vicious cycle of deteriorating kidney function and worsening blood sugar control. Obesity is another metabolic disorder closely linked to CKD. Excess body weight puts strain on the kidneys, increasing the risk of kidney damage. Moreover, obesity often comes hand in hand with other conditions like hypertension and diabetes, which further increase the risk of CKD. Metabolic syndrome, with its cluster of conditions, can also contribute to kidney damage. High blood pressure, for example, can strain the kidney's blood vessels, while abnormal cholesterol levels can lead to atherosclerosis, a condition that narrows and hardens the arteries, including those in the kidneys. It's clear that the link between CKD and metabolic disorders is a complex and intertwined one. But the good news is that managing these metabolic conditions effectively can help slow down the progression of CKD, Regular exercise, a healthy diet, weight control, and appropriate medication can all play a part in maintaining kidney health, even in the presence of metabolic disorders. Managing these conditions effectively can significantly slow down the progression of CKD. So that was a comprehensive look at chronic kidney disease. We dove into what it is, highlighting the crucial role our kidneys play, and how CKD differs from acute kidney damage. We explored the primary causes and risk factors including diabetes, hypertension, age, ethnicity, family history, and lifestyle choices. We also examined how CKD progresses at a cellular level, focusing on the decline in the glomerular filtration rate and the stages of CKD. We discussed the lifestyle changes and medications used in managing CKD and when interventions like dialysis or a kidney transplant might be necessary. Moreover, we touched on the complications of CKD, both short-term and long-term, and how they impact overall health. Lastly, we connected the dots between CKD and metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes, emphasizing the importance of managing these conditions to slow CKD progression. Remember, if you or a loved one are dealing with any of these issues, it's important to consult a healthcare provider. Thank you for watching, we hope you found this video informative. Chronic kidney disease is a complex condition, but understanding it is the first step to managing it effectively. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with the knowledge to navigate your health journey with confidence. We have more videos and playlists that delve deeper into this topic, and many others. Remember, every like, share, and subscription helps us continue to create content that empowers you. So, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button. Sharing it with your friends, family, or anyone who might benefit from it can make a big difference. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest health topics. Your engagement helps us reach more people and spread awareness about these significant health issues. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such informative videos. Stay healthy, stay informed.